Sexual violence in South Sudan can only be described as shocking. This is according to the Secretary General's Special Representative on Sexual Violence in Conflict. Zainab Bangura briefed journalists this week on her first visit to the world's youngest nation. In my 30 years of experience, I've never witnessed anything like what I saw in Bentiu. According to health officials Ms. Bangura spoke with, nearly 75 percent of victims in hospitals in the capital, Juba, are under 18. The youngest victim treated there is two years old. In the words of one woman activist I spoke to, it is not just about rape. It is to inflict unimaginable pain and destruction. Ebola virus disease vaccines have arrived in Geneva, the World Health Organization, or WHO, announced this week. The Canadian government donated 800 vials of an experimental vaccine that are being stored at a university hospital in the Swiss city. That and another Ebola vaccine developed by a British company are being called frontrunners in the race to stop the transmission of the virus. A WHO official told reporters that time is needed to test the vaccines before they can be used. First, at this point, we don't know if the vaccines are really safe and we don't know if they work. And if they work, what, how efficacious are they? Are they protecting at 100 percent? This is very rare. Happy birthday, United Nations! The organization is celebrating its 69th anniversary this week with events at its New York headquarters and around the world. In New York, world-renowned concert pianist and UN Messenger of Peace Lang Lang and 16-time Grammy Award winner Sting will perform at a concert in the General Assembly Hall accompanied by a youth orchestra representing five continents. UN Day commemorates the organization's global efforts and achievements since its founding on October 24, 1945. Since then, the UN has been active around the world, from zones of conflict and crisis to peacebuilding missions. The United Nations was founded to end such assault on human dignity and lead the way to a better future. There have been painful setbacks and there is much work ahead. But we can take heart from our achievements in advancing peace, human rights, and human dignity.